Hey guys, it's Malena, and you're watching Maybe Malena. Today, I'm going to be doing a very exciting, kind of sad, um, and long-awaited video, especially for me, because I've had these things, some of them, for almost a year now, because... I have been getting ready to move into my own apartment, my own dorm, you can call it, um, for months now. And I am so excited. Obviously, I'm a little sad because, like, moving away from home and stuff, but mainly excitement. So, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the things that I have gotten for my apartment. And, um, today I'm only going to be doing the kitchen stuff because there is so much stuff especially for the kitchen i think this should be the longest video um of all of the little apartment and dorm hall videos just because obviously with the kitchen like i'm not going to take the things that are in my home kitchen because they're my mother's and she kind of needs them even when i leave but like bedroom stuff i probably won't have anything for um because i'm just taking the things that i have and um so yeah anyway i've been talking too long just rambling but i'm so excited to share with you guys all of the things that i have gotten for my kitchen so without further ado let's just get on into it okay so i am going to be honest with you guys i'm not super extremely picky about um well i'm picky about the things that i'm getting for my apartment i want them to look a certain way and just kind of like fit themes and everything and just go well together but I don't mind if they're like gently used things like if I can get something cheaper at a yard sale or at Goodwill or any type of thrift store honestly and it be in good shape be able to wash it up and it be nice and clean and still be just as good as something that I bought retail price then I'm definitely gonna do that because I'm a college kid I mean who would, what college kid has just a ton of money to blow on kitchenware, you know? So, I did that. I've been yard sale shopping all summer, trying to find some things um, for my kitchen and, well, for my entire house, actually. And um, I found quite a bit of stuff. And then after yard sales started to die down and it kind of got later in the summer, too hot for yard sales to be going on, I started buying stuff like retail. So... I'm going to go ahead and get into the yard sale stuff first and then I'll move on to the things that I got in store. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I do still have some other stuff that I need to get. Um, so that will obviously not be included in this haul, but I had to hurry up and get this video done because I'm moving in September 5th. That's crazy. That's insane. But anyway... So I have a box here in my lap that you can't exactly see, but it is full of all kinds of stuff for my apartment. So let's go. So the first thing that I got is just your basic white plastic um, ice tray. And this is a yard sale find and it looks brand new. So I don't know how much my mom bought this. So I don't know how much she paid for this, but Ice tray is an ice tray. Next up, I got these two different canisters and they came in a little set and they're a little bit scratched up as you can see. But I mean, once I get stuff into these, you won't even be able to tell. You can barely even tell now. So, um, and this one still has like a little coffee, uh, coffee scoop inside of it. Um, so canisters I mean they're good for everything so next up I just have a whole ton of little measuring uh, things these are like the different spoon ones um, and then these ones are the cups and then this one I don't even know how much this is but it's just like a little scoop I don't know I guess this is just a scoop it's not really a measuring thing but so I got all of these at a yard sale and once again my mom bought these so I'm not sure how much they cost but 
couldn't be more than a dollar a piece. My mom also picked up a little spatula and a funnel from a yard sale. So don't know how much she paid for those, but we got them for cheap, cheaper than you would at a store. And I mean, these are things that you just, you'll always need. And if you don't have them, you'd be like, why don't I have a spatula? Why don't I have a funnel? And so my mom got them for me. It's very much something that I would not have thought of. This next thing is also a yard sale find and it is just a normal old paper towel holder and it's like solid like metal like steel this thing's pretty heavy and um i think it's just really modern and pretty and it was cheap so <laughs> it works i found this bowl at a yard sale also um it was really cheap and it's just like a little mixing bowl for like if i'm making muffins or um just need to mix together some ingredients that would be nice in here. The last thing that I have in this big box of items from yard sale is this fork and spoon and just like straight up silverware um, divider that you put in your drawer so your drawer is not a complete mess. And I'm a freak about keeping drawers tidy. Um, I organize our leftover McDonald's sauce packs in our kitchen. So I definitely need this. I love organization. Thanks mom. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get on into the things that I have bought in store, brand new for my kitchen. And the first thing is just some kitchen scissors. Um, just about everything, if not everything that I've bought in store has been from Target. Um, so these are just some really nice gray kitchen scissors and it doesn't say how much they are on them But I think they were like two dollars like really cheap The next thing that I have from Target are these two different spatulas and these were 99 cents a piece And I had to get this one because it has a little drainage hole. So if you're cooking like hamburgers or something like juicy and greasy that you need to just smash down and get all the juice up out of then that's what this one's for and this one's just kind of for like I guess like grilled cheese or something like that that's not really greasy and you don't really need to smush the grease out of so I got both of these 99 cents a piece really awesome okay so of course every college kid is going to be eating for as cheap as possible and we know that canned food items are very cheap so I had to get me a can opener and it's gray and matches the um, kitchen scissors and pretty much everything else that I got from Target. Um, and I think this was like $1.99, $2.99, $3.99, right on it. So I know I got a ice tray um, from a yard sale but I saw this cute little one in Target and couldn't help but get it. And I mean, who's going to use just one tray of ice? Like, you have to have at least two. And this one's like cool shaped. It's not like it's completely rounded. So that's cool. And this was $2.99. The next thing that I got is the cutest thing ever. And it was kind of a little bit more expensive than the rest of the things that I got. But it was too cute for me to not get. So... Look how adorable! It's salt and pepper. They're so cute and they have like little holes to fill them at the bottom. And it's got like the cute little top. They're so cute. I don't know how much I spent on these. It doesn't say on here. But it was a pretty penny. Like it wasn't, it was like under $5. But still, that's a lot for a salt and pepper shaker. And of course, every kitchen has to have silverware so I got these ones at Target for I don't know I think it was like $12 but it's a set of four salad forks four dinner forks four dinner knives four teaspoons and four dinner spoons so in a total that is eight forks eight spoons and four um, butter knives so it's a total of 20 pieces of silverware and I think it was like $12 
and they're like nicely shaped that's something that i pay attention to like a lot of people don't but when i was looking i was like those ones are like weirdly squared and those ones like have a triangle at the end and those ones have like little initials on them i don't like that i like these nice smooth rounded ones so that's what i picked up the next thing that i got from target is a three pack of these little tupperware bowls they are the pyrex brand and i don't recall how much these were but it was pretty cheap for such a like pyrex is a really good brand and these are actual glass ones and they have the really nice rubber lids and um the gray matches along with all of the little kitchen things that i just showed you and um these are really good for saving leftovers we have a lot of them at my house so I'm excited to use these in my own kitchen. Up next, I got something that I don't think we own in my mom's house. And that would be a cutting board. And this one's so pretty, look. So I'm gonna be honest, I paid like $13 for this thing. That's a lot of money for something you just cut things on. But I'm really bad about cutting bell peppers. Straight up on the countertop, and it's not good. I it, it gets a mess everywhere, and it leaves like little scratches on the countertop, and I just don't need to do that. So I have a cutting board, and I can probably start using this now at my mom's house until I move. Up next, every kitchen has to have a set of baking sheets. So I've just got this little two set, and I think this was like... 10 11 dollars um but it is a non-stick baking sheet and it's just basic so it works the last thing that i got from target is this three set of barberware i think that's how you say it um pots not pots pans and um they're really pretty very nice um i've seen quite a few pans at like goodwill and at yard sales but i really didn't want to give them because they were all scratched up and beaten and banged and like had the burnt bottom and everything and I, it was just kind of one of those things that i wanted to have my own new so i got these for like it was really cheap for such a big name brand i think it was like 17 dollars. they were on sale too but these are really really nice and i know that they'll work very well so these last things that i got are from miscellaneous different stores and so the very first thing that i'm going to that i'm going to show you guys is this gray and yellow really pretty rug and it is from the dollar store and let me tell you guys they have the best rugs there like i've had this one that I'm sitting on for like two years and it's really, really nice. It's held up very well. Like there's no tears, there's no um, wear or anything and it still looks so beautiful. So when I saw this pretty yellow one that matched my coffee mugs, I decided to get it and it was only $10 at the Dollar General. This next thing I got actually for like a graduation party um but then i didn't use them but i thought i can use this in my kitchen so this would be some magnetic um mini picture frames and so they're for kind of like polaroid pictures or um hp sprocket pictures and i do have an hp sprocket i can put um hp sprocket pictures of me and my friends and family in these and stick them onto my fridge or they're also um like convertible into a little easel uh picture frame so i can put them pretty much wherever i want but i think i'll probably use them on my fridge the next thing that i got for my kitchen is yet another coffee mug and if you guys have watched my scotland england videos then you may or may not have seen this already um it's just the classic like red raincoat girl in front of the um london bridge but i got this um with my apartment in mind and i can't remember how much it was but i got it in one of the um 
souvenir shops. That's what that's called, a souvenir. My brain does not work. The next thing that I got is yet another coffee mug. And this one is from Jamaica and it's really cool. And I think it's like handcrafted and it's like so cool. Cause this part's like so shiny and then this part's matte and it's just like the different um, places in Jamaica. And my aunt actually got this for me when she went on her honeymoon to Jamaica. So thank you for this. I'm gonna use it and I like it cause it's a tall one so I can fit more coffee in it, so I can drink more at one time, so I can drink more in the entire day. This last thing that I got is yet another coffee mug. Would you believe it? Yeah, so this one you may have also seen in my Scotland, England videos because it is also from London. And this is the box that came in and oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's such a dainty little, it's like a teacup. Like it's so tiny and pretty and thin. Like look how pretty, okay, look, look how pretty. And since we had London passes um, and this was in the uh, Tower Bridge gift shop, so I got a um, certain percentage off with my London pass and then it's got like this little building top in the like for when you like go to sip your coffee and just like mm. isn't it cute it's so cute so I got this I'm wanting to get like a little mug rack so I can individually like hang all of my pretty mugs out and so everybody can see them and everybody can be like hey let's get a cup of coffee together and like drink our coffee and be like nice adults so those are all of the things that i have for my apartment so far and i hope you guys have enjoyed it i am definitely so excited about this apartment and of course be ready for some like move-in day vlogs some packing vlogs some apartment tour bedroom tour like maybe even a like meet my roommates um, I don't know if everybody will be down for that, but I think that at least one of them, I don't even know who my roommates are yet, but I'm hoping that this one girl is going to be my roommate. And if she is, I think that she'll probably be down for like a meet my roommate type video. Um, so yeah, I'm just so excited for moving in. Cause it's just like, even though it's really sad that this door is closing, like so many more, like this new door is opening and there's so many windows inside this new door. Like it's just crazy how many opportunities that I'm having to get to go to college and I'm so excited. So I feel like I should give a thank you speech now, but I'm not going to. But anyway, this video is so long already. I've got to hurry up and get it edited for you guys, but I hope you have enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss another video and you do so you definitely don't miss one of the other dorm apartment halls. I have a few things for my bathroom. I might pick up some things for the living room. I think that living room is pretty much like, I'm going to leave that to my roommates because I've bought everything for everyone everywhere pretty much just about. So I don't want to like completely take over everything because somebody may be like picky about their stuff too and be like, oh, well I want it this way. And I'm like, I already bought this stuff. But I'm kind of hoping that everybody's gonna be like, okay, well you were willing to pay for it. And so now I don't have to pay for it. So that's good. But um, I don't know, we'll just have to find out and see. I know that I couldn't wait to buy all of these things um, until move-in day, which is when I'm supposed to know who my roommates are. Um, so I know I couldn't afford to just wait until that long to get all of this stuff at one time so I decided that I'd just go ahead and start picking things up over the months and having people buy me things over the months and if people didn't like it if my roommates don't like it then I don't know I mean I guess I can put my stuff in one cabinet and they can put theirs in another and it'll all be fine and dandy so Anyway, this video and even this outro is insanely long. So I gotta go. I love you guys and I hope you have a great week.